In this video, you will learn how to create a stakeholder map in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see that I have generated this stakeholder map using this data set. First column shows the name. Second column shows the impact of change. Third column shows the level of influence. Stakeholder mapping helps us to identify key stakeholders, understand their influence and develop a strategy for stakeholder management. In previous video, you have learned how to create the stakeholder map like this one. And in this video, you will learn second version of stakeholder map. So let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will generate a scatter plot. Select both these columns. Go to insert tab. And from charts, I will select scatter plot without line. Select this one. I will place it here. and resize it now click on this chart and here you will find the option of chart element select this one from here i will choose axis title because i want to insert axis title and i will deselect grid lines because i don't want grid lines after doing that click on chart title Put equal sign in formula bar and select the cell which contain title. Press enter. Go to home tab and from here you can adjust the font size of title. I will choose black color and 16 size. Select y axis title. Put equal sign in formula bar. Select the cell which contain title and press enter. Similarly select x axis, I will manually edit it. Again click here. Remove existing data. And write impact of change. Now select this one. And change its font size and style. Copy this format using Format Painter option and apply it on X axis title. Select Y axis values and adjust their font size. Copy their format and apply it on X axis values. Click on these Y axis values. Right click. Here you will find the option of Format Axis. From here, go to fill and line option. In line, I will select solid line and I will choose color black, width 1.5 pt. Go to axis option and click on tick marks. From here, I will choose major tick marks on outside and minor tick marks on outside of this line. Repeat this procedure for X axis. Select this one. Go to fill a line option. From line I will choose solder line. Black color is already selected and in width I will choose 1.5 pt. Now I am interested to create a quadrant. I will select this one. Right click. Here you will find the option of format axis. Go to axis option and scroll down. Here you will find the option of axis values under horizontal axis crosses. Select this one. And select the values that is the middle value of Y axis, currently you can see here the values of Y axis are 0 to 10 and the middle value is 5, so I will write 5. Similarly, select X axis and from here choose axis values 5, which is the middle value of X axis. Click here. 
now again click on this x axis and i want to insert tick marks i will scroll down go to tick mark option from here i will select major tick marks on outside and minor tick marks on outside now i don't want the line around plot area so i will select this one plot area and from here go to shape outline and i will select no outline again select this vertical axis right click go to format axis option and from here in major unit i will choose two instead of one because the values are densely packed click anywhere on sheet and the value will be changed now i want to insert arrow sign select this one go to fill line option scroll down here you will find the option of begin arrow type from here i will choose this one begin arrow size i will choose this one similarly end arrow type i will choose this one and end arrow size i will choose this one you can follow similar procedure for x axis click on this x axis values and go to line option from here i will choose begin arrow type this one arrow size this one and arrow type this one and end arrow size i will choose this one now click on this marker you can see here all marker are selected right click and go to format data series option from here go to fill line option now you will observe two option line and marker click on marker and here is a option of marker options choose this one from here i will choose build in you can change the type of marker i will choose this one and from here you can adjust the size here is a option of fill of this marker and border around these markers you can also change that one i will not change that after doing that select the markers go to chart element option and from here i will choose data label select this one now click on these data labels right click here you will find the option of format data labels from here select values from cells it will ask the data label range select first column data click on okay i don't want y axis value so i will deselect this one and i will also deselect show ladder lines close this one after selecting data labels go to home from here you can adjust the font size additionally you can also adjust the position of these data labels select these data labels right click go to format data label option and if you scroll down you will find the option of label position either center left or right i will choose right additionally if you want to write these labels like collaborate with you can also do that in microsoft excel simply go to insert option from here you will find the option of text select text box from here i will choose center and i will write collaborate with you can adjust its size by dragging additionally go to shape format option from here i will select shape outline and no outline now i will select this text and go to home tab and i will change its color Similarly you can insert these labels on other quadrant as well so by doing so you can easily create stakeholder map in microsoft excel that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye